Every single one of these menus can be dropped down to open up tons of customization, tons of more settings. I can't even fit on the screen right now, which is the title of this video. This is probably Skater XL's most game-changing mod that we've had in a while. Today, we're taking a look at Fro's experimental mod, and huge shout out to Fro himself for giving me early access to this mod and hopping on stream and kind of walking me through how to use it because the mod isn't even out yet. Okay, well, actually, the mod is going live at the same time this video drops, so I'll have a link in the description to download this mod. I'm gonna walk you guys through and kind of show you how insanely capable this mod is and how customizable you can actually make your game. The first little drop down menu, lean to the sides and wall rides. Pretty self-explanatory. You will notice if I'm pushing around here, I pop and I push both sticks to one side. We, <laughs> we go to one side. Oh my God, I just got hit by this. Oh my God. Wait, did you guys just see that? Oh, it didn't show up in the, uh, in the replay because it was an NPC, but something just flew in the air. If we head on over here, this is just my, my go-to wall ride spot for demonstration. If you time it right, it definitely takes some, some attempts. There. That was, that was a pretty bad one, but you guys get the gist of it. You can use that to essentially bring yourself onto walls for wall rides. And it makes for amazing replays. You don't have to glitch your, uh, your wall rides anymore. It's actually built into the mod. Dynamic feet. It's a super minuscule change, but you can notice it. So if we turn this off, let's just do something like a front feeble, something mellow. If you go into the replay editor and you look at the feet, you can kind of see like here, your foot's kind of floating. It doesn't really align with the board. It just kind of looks a little wonky, if you know what I mean. If we turn on follow board rotation and follow board position and we do it again, you don't even really notice it until you actually analyze it in the, uh, in the replay. Essentially, your feet just follow the board more. You get a little bit more dip on those, a more connection to the board. It just looks overall more realistic and you can go through and fine tune all of these settings to make it perfect. This is kind of my first time really using the mod and going this in depth to it, but you can essentially tweak everything to make your stances look way more realistic. Hippie jump down force. This one's pretty self-explanatory. If we go over to a hippie jump spot, <laughs> see how good it works? Essentially you can toggle hippie jumps with B and then you can adjust your down force and your hippie jump animation time. So if we do an ollie, we tap B, you can see are uh we're tweaking out there for a sec you can see your feet come off the board if you're wondering why we're waving i'll get into that in a sec oh we got it first try let's go that that took a while last time i tried after adjusting the slider settings and everything you can get some pretty cool hippie clips something like that now for the fun stuff we open up animations here and you have realistic animation curve on pop i'm gonna turn this one off so i can show you guys let's say we're we're pushing along right and we do an ollie pretty standard. You will notice that when we pop, there's some disconnect with our feet there. We're, our back foot's completely off the board. The front foot's not making any contact. When you lift it up, we're getting even more distance from our feet in the skateboard. And it just takes away from realism if you are hyper analyzing a game footage like I do, you know? In regular speed, it honestly looks kind of chill. But like I said, if you're doing like a slow-mo clip or something, you can really see the... Uh, the foot disconnect there. If we turn on realistic animation curve on pop, we go and recreate that same ollie again. Gameplay wise, it looks kind of the same, but when we go into the replay here, it does an amazing job getting rid of a lot of that disconnect. You still have some, but I mean, if you watch a slow-mo video of someone doing an ollie, their, foot, their feet aren't glued to the board, you know? But you have way less back foot disconnect the front foot pretty much stays on the entire time. I think that's just my stance setting that's giving us that little gap there. All in all, it makes the clip look kind of a lot more, a lot more natural and realistic. Realism is the keyword here. Realism is the keyword in all of my YouTube videos. Velocity based pushing. Again, super minuscule, super cool when you notice it. Let's just start pushing. We're pushing. The push animation is the same every single time. Doesn't matter how fast we're going. Doesn't matter how slow we're going. As we click the push button, we are pushing. If you turn on velocity-based pushing, you'll notice that the, the pushes are kind of quick. You're doing these fast-paced pushes to get that speed up. But as we continue pushing, so we're going to go around the corner here, you can see that our pushing strides, our animation starts slowing down, just like how they would in real life. Once you reach a certain speed, you're not still like, boop, 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 boop. You're like, 
getting that speed. You know what I mean? It's just, it's super, super small stuff. Sonic pushing is probably the most realistic feature in this entire mod. I can't believe Fro got this to look this real. You know, it's pretty rare for a video game to dive into this detail of realism. It's one of those things that a lot of skaters just do naturally in real life, but it's almost impossible to imitate in a, in a video game. What can I say? Fro did it. So we hold our push button here and you can just see that it really just captures the essence of how skateboarders push in real life. And I really haven't seen realism like this in uh, any other game, especially like pushing from Mongo to regular. Like it's just adding that into your edits is just really going to take that that realism to the next one. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a meme, okay? We're going to turn that off. We're going to go back to velocity. Automatically wave on. So you guys probably saw me waving when I was doing the hippie jumps. You can set this to whatever. Obviously, I'd, I probably should have had it disabled. So when I do my hippie jumps, I don't start waving. But uh, whatever. I like putting it on braking. So now, whenever we break, we go into the replay here. You can see that our dude actually actually waves. What's the point of it? Who really knows? You can mess around in multiplayer with it. The interesting thing about it, I don't know, I don't know too much. So I don't want to go crazy in depth, but I guess all of this stuff was implemented by Easy Day, but never actually added. So Fro just found these underlying, you know, animations built into the game and unleashed them. So it's like Easy Day had plans to add this and then never ended up doing it. Whoops. But now if you're in a multiplayer lobby or something, you can uh, wave to your friends. This is him asking you very politely to thumbs up the video. Every thumbs up helps. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff. <laughs> okay, moving on. Wobble on high speed, essentially just speed wobbles. It's also really cool. If we just push down this hill here, it's kind of hard to get that feel of speed, like speed perception in a skateboarding game. If we toggle this on, you can adjust the speed at which it activates and all that. You'll notice, let's do that same kickflip in, we're getting speed wobbles. And it like, it makes for really cool hill bombing clips if you land, like if we go up here, do like nollie hard flip in. Oh, that was a sick one. Big spin in, and you can see we get those speed wobbles. Again, realism is the word here, just makes for really cool edits. Alternative bails. I'm not 100% sure. It sounds super self-explanatory, but I was messing with it. If we do like a fall, it looks like a pretty standard fall. We turn this on and we go to do the same fall. I don't really notice a difference, so I'm not 100% sure what it does. I just leave it on in case something cool happens. Then we start getting into the multiplayer stuff, which is super interesting. This is pretty self-explanatory. Multiplayer AFK timeout, disabled multiplayer pop-up message, blah, 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 blah. Multiplayer chat messages. I have never seen anything like this in Skater XL. If we join on in to a, uh, a random lobby here, you'll see if I push the D-pad, you have commands that you can activate and they'll pop up as little... I don't know what just happened. <clears throat> so look, this dude over... Oh, come on. Come back here. No! Where'd all my friends go? They left me. Oh, here's someone. Hey, all. See it? It pops up out of my out of my mouth there. We can do... What's up? Let's, let's do... Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> They're just like little chat bubbles. And you can customize... You can't customize them. Like, you can't do whatever you want. But if you open up Froze Mod, you can... There's 12 pages of predefined messages. You can adjust these sliders to make them have different options, if that makes sense. I'm here. Multiplayer filmer. This one's sick. The homie Mike, aka One Modus, sent me this clip, which is showcasing the multiplayer filmer. Let's watch that again. Look at how crazy this is. You have a legit follow cam person. He sent me another one, actually. So this is in a, a multiplayer lobby, obviously, but you have someone legitimately following him with a camera. You have the person skating, and you can see the camera actually following the skater. So it, it makes these these multiplayer long lens clips look so, so realistic. Look at the filmer push right here. Hold on. Watch the filmer. Look at this little push. Like a little, little toe tap to slow down. That's so sick. All right. So the way that works, under player username, you can toggle whoever you want in the multiplayer lobby. So if you're filming someone, you can select their name and the camera will lock onto them. Unfortunately, I'm realizing now you need XLGM and then you also need a camera to hold. You know what I mean? And I didn't download one, but I can still demonstrate it. If we hold up on my left stick because I'm goofy, like as if you're pumping in a bowl, you'll see if I was holding a camera, it would look like I'm filming someone right now. I just don't have the camera asset installed. But this is how you'd follow someone. So if you're skating this ledge, you know, you do a little tap there. Oh, 
I, I forgot to disable my wave. But yeah, you can legitimately follow people and film lines. And you can go into the replay editor and actually keyframe it from the fisheye's perspective to get that long lens and the fisheye shot. Super crazy stuff. Put feet on ground when pump. Oh, so there's also stuff where if you disable your board and you have this on, then it's like it looks like he's stand. I forget the exact. I forget the exact way it works. But there's a ton of ways you can customize this to make it different. Camera options, alpha camera, obstacle avoidance, grind options, flip vertically out of grinds, and skater body. This is probably my personal favorite. Let's do like a solid 0.5 ish on all of our settings here. Yes. This is good. This is perfect. See, I wonder if I look like this to the other people. Like, I wonder if they can see see my my size. <laughs> I, he, he did say that it was still a little bit buggy. He's working on fixing certain aspects of this. You can see, like, I bounce when I land. And I don't 100% know why. And then if you go even smaller than that, it just breaks everything. <laughs> Speed Jumbo Skater. Megatron. I think we're able to push, but if you pop... You just, you just explode. Let's reset that. This is a hand weight. So if we put these all the way up, we have this super floppy, loose style of arms, which I, I actually think looks really sick. That's over-exaggerated, obviously. You can play around with the uh, the levels of this till you have something that looks kind of decent. Like there, we got a, a, a pretty loose style. Yeah, that's, that's about it. I honestly probably have like five or 10 videos titled, this is the most game-changing mod in Skater XL. But I think this actually is one of the more game-changing mods in Skater XL. You can customize pretty much every aspect of the game and turn it into, you know, a, what seems like a more fully developed Skater XL, if that makes sense. Bro, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're watching this, thank you so much for helping with this mod, for creating this mod, for keeping this game alive. I, I greatly appreciate you. I will have a link down in the description of this video for you guys to download it. You can always watch back on this video if you need help remembering what things do. I think he has a PDF actually that explains it. What's my arm doing? On that note, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you later.